Hello everyone, welcome to Foxtag again. Foxtag has been providing you with tutorials literally for years and the topic for today is how do you use iPad with the USB adapter? Now, it's it's kind of a bit more complicated situation because it depends on the iPad you have and the accessory you want to use it with. For example, this is the iPad Pro. And when I look at it from the side, you're going to notice that it is equipped with the USB-C port. Of course, just like every iPad Pro has the USB-C, this one has as well. So in case, let's say I want to connect something like this USB hard drive. In this case, I have to identify which port my iPad has and which connection is here on the other side. You can see this is the USB-C, uh, the um, external hard drive, and also iPad is equipped with the USB-C port. Now, in this very case, I can use a double-sided USB-C cable to connect it, and that way it's gonna work. But in a situation where you're uh, you're trying to connect something, some kind of accessory which only works with this uh, this classic USB-A, you of course not gonna be able to put it inside of the iPad. And as the video suggests, we talk about iPad adapters for USB. By the way guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out that link. It's free to access. So yeah, go ahead and do that right now. So what you can do is to purchase some kind of adapter like this. So it has USB-C on one side, so I can connect it to the iPad with the USB-C. But here it has multiple different ports, like three USBs. You have the large SD card, you have the smaller SD card. And I can put it on top of my, or uh, under my iPad, connect it like this to to this, uh, to the iPad itself. And right now I can use it normally and connect any USB cables and any accessories like that. Of course, when I pair it like this, I'm gonna wait for the iPad to recognize it. So perhaps I'm gonna be able to see it inside of the files app. It really depends because if you, for example, are connecting some accessories which are not really designed to be used with the iPad, some kind of readers or something like that, which you cannot really use with iPad, then it doesn't matter that you set up the connection, right? When you can't use it, it's not gonna be available. So yeah, that's how it works. But let's say that I have an SD card I can slice it inside in here and use it that way. So let me show it to you right now. So here's an SD card. I can use it with this way. This is connected to the iPad. Now all I have to do is just to fire up the files app. You can see a bunch of different locations and this one is the number two. This is what it's called. The, the SD card is called two, literally. So I can tap on it right here and I can scroll through the photos and folders which I have available in here. It's all nice. This is how it works. So I can use the USB adapter with the iPad. Otherwise, I would not be able to connect my SD card to, to be able to use it with this. So yeah, that's how it works. That's how you can pair it, but make sure that you have the right accessories. Find out about the port which you have and the ports or connection types which you wanna connect and you have to figure out something in between to make sure you can use it that way. So yeah, I'm gonna wrap up this video right now. I don't think that I need to drag it any longer than it needs to be. Thanks all for watching. Make sure to definitely subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. You don't wanna miss future uploads and I will see you in the next one. Peace out until then.